I'm Hoop Smiles, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you some smart hula hoop tricks for beginners that you can use in your workouts and if you just wanna have fun. So let's go ahead and get started. Start off by taking your centrifugal ball, that weighted piece on the end, and just give it a nice throw around your body like this. Now, if you're struggling to, you know, get spins around, there's a couple of techniques you can do. Uh, one being stand with both of your feet about shoulder width apart, and you can just try going side to side to keep that centrifugal ball spinning around your body. Another thing you can do is you can put one foot in front of you and try rocking back and forth. Once you're able to get mini spins with your smart hula hoop, the next thing I want you to practice is try to get that centrifugal ball to spin faster around your body. Try to get it to go as fast as you can. And then what I want you to do is practice slowing it down again. You know, maybe go to a slower speed. Because here's the thing, this is something that you can apply to your smart hula hoop workouts is maybe when you first start, you know, you're kind of doing this slower speed, you know, then find that middle speed. So get it going a little bit faster. And then you can just press on the gas and then make it go really, really fast. Yes, I feel like that fast speed right there can add to a great workout. The next thing I want you to try with your smart hula hoop is practicing your movement. So can you move while smart hula hooping? So can you maybe take some steps forward? Can you also take some steps backwards like that? Can you also try it moving side to side as well? And if this is something that you struggle with, you know, it might be helpful to take some baby steps first. So maybe just, you know, take one step, you know, regain your balance and then try to take another step forward. And then as you get better, you know, you can practice trying to, you know, doing that at a faster pace. So maybe you take more steps and so forth. Something else I recommend is that you practice spinning while smart hula hooping as well and doing this in both directions. And when you are spinning with your smart hoop, really make sure you are flexing your abs, really activate your core while you are doing those spins. A reason why it's important to practice moving with your smart hula hoop, you know, and getting this to look more smooth is eventually I recommend that you practice, you know, dancing while smart hula hooping. So try to do this to music. When it does come to dancing with a smart hula hoop, it may take a lot of time and practice to get that, to that point. But something I would practice first is, you know, if you just have that spinning around like this, I would recommend exploring what to do with your hands while you're smart hula hooping. Also, another thing I recommend doing is really try to exaggerate those leg movements. So when you're gonna try to dance with your smart hula hoop, you know, maybe you, you know, put your legs out like this, you know, try to swivel your hips a little bit, you know, really practice, have fun with this. And for the people out there that want some smart hula hoop workout fitness ideas, something that you can throw into your workouts too is I recommend practice doing some squats like this. But you don't wanna go too low, otherwise that uh, centrifugal ball might hit your legs. So if you just go low enough, without that centrifugal ball hitting you and then come right back up. So that's something that you can try many times as well. And if you find this video helpful and you want other people to, to discover this video, go ahead and like this video. Also subscribe. Another smart hula hoop trick that you can practice is spinning that centrifugal ball at more of a downward angle like this. One way that you can get into that angled position is when you're spinning that centrifugal ball, uh, you kind of bring your legs a little bit closer together and you kind of just push your bottom up in the air. But you don't want to, you know, go too far down, otherwise that centrifugal ball might hit your body. And what I would recommend doing is practicing going from this angled position, but then also back to having that centrifugal ball spin more parallel around your body. If you are struggling to get these smart hula hoop tricks, get down to the comments section and let me know. I might be able to help you. If you want to watch more smart hula hoop videos by me, Hoop Smiles, I have a bunch of smart hula hoop videos on my channel. Also, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching. Until next time, enjoy.